artillery has a long history of, of non-combat uses. Tchaikovsky was uh, commissioned to write a celebratory piece uh, to commemorate victory over Napoleon in Russia in 1812. He wanted to be rather bombastic at certain points in the, in the score. The artillery uh, was written into the overture. He projected the use of 16 muzzle-loading cannon, but his plan didn't get to work out that way because the whole event in 1881 didn't get to happen. This carriage was built in 1837. It's recently restored. We mounted an Austrian bronze howitzer on it uh, because it's a little more typical of the ordnance that Napoleon took into Russia. In the last 13 years, we've been happy to work with the Henry Ford with their annual Salute to America program. We have a a knowledgeable orchestra member within visual range of us to provide timing for the shot. They're reading the score. We have built-in time delay. If you're down here on the field when they go off and you feel that thump on your chest, there is something about the vibration and the, and the intensity of the sound you get live that is far greater than any of the recorded simulated effects.